uh, previously system prepped image or operating system. So within VirtualBox, you can go to Settings, Storage, and then you can unmount or delete the auto unintend custom ISO we made. So I'm going to go choose a virtual CD DVD thing, computer, my C drive, Windows PE, Windows PE dot underscore x86, open. So now I want to start it. And you can either press F12 or wait for it to ask you to press any key. And of course, you want to press any key to, to, so you can boot off the CD DVD. Let's see. As you can see, we have one disk. So I actually have to close out, and that's my grandfather clock going off. As you can see, we still need to add another hard drive so we can capture the image. You can either use a network drive or maybe a USB thumbstick attached. So I actually have to shut down this computer. I just have to go to Settings, Storage, SATA Controller this time, create a new disk, and click OK. Let's restart our computer. So now that we're restarting Windows PE, we'll then use disk part and select the disk one, clean it, create a partition, and just set it up for our copy of the file. Disk part. Select. Oh, let's list our disks. Disk part. List disk. So as you can see, we'd like to use our disk 1 because that is the new disk we just added. So let's select disk 1 clean, create partition, primary. I don't think we need primary, never mind. Partition size equals 25 gigabytes. I guess we do need primary. All right, let's do that. I'm actually going to cancel that. List partition. As you can see, we have selected disk zero. This is the disk that we created that we installed our custom Windows image. So let's go follow the directions yet again. CD, oh. Select partition one.
we'll just do the same sign letter. So now we exited in our in system 32, we would like to run image x capture the C drive. onto the C drive windows partition dot win. image x c c windows.wim windows partition ah, I forgot to do capture Now that we've captured the now that we have successfully captured the image, let us try uh, discard again. I'd like to use discard because I don't have a network share on my computer. As you can see, I just I already formatted the hard drive I that I just recently added, and then I set it as active, as shown here. And now we can go to our C drive, rather our S drive, and see that we have the windows.wim file. I don't think anything is in our C drive, as it says in here, our capture device. Because for me, I only did one, one big partition for my windows. So let us do a copy command Windows Wim to our iDrive.
Now that the file is finished copying, let's make sure it's there. It is. So now, I believe we're all, all done with Windows PE, for now. I'm going to try to shut off my machine.